Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Boy Ghost GG. Today we're starting Dragon Age 2. I was just about to say continuing, but no, we're starting it. I have already gone through the settings and set everything up, and yeah. Um, uh, I have not played this game before, and uh, this is the whatever the biggest edition of the game is. It was on sale. Uh, I have all the extra stuff, so. I'm sorry. Downloadable content, so I have all these packs. I don't know which one's the. Uh, I think it might be Legacy. I'm not too 100% certain, but I'll have to search up later uh, which um, uh, expansion I should be playing going on and whatever. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure that out later. And uh, the Mass Effect 3 demo is here. Oh, uh, this is quite an old game. <laughs> I believe this game is 2010 or 11 because Origins was 09. And then I think they re released it in 2010 or like the. Bigger edition or whatever. Sorry, I'm just fixing my monitor here real quick. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and then I think this must be like 10 or 11 or something on that. Uh, I'll have to search it up. Or new game it. All right. So we can go male mage, female mage, male warrior, female warrior, male rogue, female rogue. I am not much of a magic user. I always like playing as a warrior. So we're gonna go male warrior. This doesn't look like too much of a creative character. It seems. Because in the last game we had creator characters, but our character was a Kuzland, which was a very uh, prominent family. Uh, one of the one of the lords of the land. Oh, is that who I think it is? It looks like him. I've had <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentagust. Hey, Cassandra as well. The oh, well, wow, their story goes back then. Like I said, just, I played uh, in position. What are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Alright. Telling story. Rag Mage 2. That's a uh, very for sure, right? And then Cassandra. I didn't know I didn't realize their history went that far back. I know in Inquisition that they obviously know each other, but I didn't realize they knew each other in the previous game. Because I never played one or two, right? So that's dope. That's cool. them sooner or later then we make our stand here oh we have a Prepare voice yourself. proper voice with talk This is more. This is what I remember from Inquisition. We'll make it through this together. Well, what's his hawk? Here they come. I know his name is. Shall hawk. I deal with them?
all yours, sister. Oh, sister. That's not what really happened. <laughs> Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. I try this if with you controller, can't point me I to do prefer him. controller over Tell mouse me and keyboard. Everything you know. Let's see if the controller works. You aren't worried, I'll just I'm make it, it up as I oh, go. The camera. Not the camera. at all. Oh, no, I just skipped the entire fucking thing. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, guys. My camera froze. What the hell happened? When the fuck did that happen? <laughs> it was just me staring at the fucking thing. Okay. Well, um... Oh, we do get to customize our character. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but as you can see, it says Hawk there. Um... Uh... The BBC are doing this with the mouse and keyboard actually. Hold up. Let's go normal reset. Let's go down skin. We can't change stuff. Oh, preset is just. Oh. Oh, so I can make my hawk into whatever I want. I'm gonna go with this guy here. Skin color. Make my skin silky smooth. Do like face tattoos because I would never get one in real life. I wouldn't get like actual tattoos in real life, so. It's not like I wouldn't get it, it's like what would I get? That, that's the real problem. You know? You know, I've been doing the side, the middle split. Let's go with that. I like full beards, not just like goatee or mustache. Let's see what here. Get 
Yeah, something along that line. Is there a smaller version? A little bit more stubblier version? Because I don't think- I think the longer version looks better. Oh wait, they do have stubble. Hold up. Um, turn this off. It's on. Maybe just stubble? No, let's have the full beard with the stubble there. <laughs> oh, let's do that actually, fuck it. Um, eyebrows. I got some thick boys on me, so with that. Eyes, uh, I'm more of an eye color or anything. You get close to brown as possible. It's brown. I like the shape of my eyes, I like that where the eyes are. Nose. I ain't got no like that, my nose is more like that. Yeah. Can't change my mouth, which I guess it's covered by... See my neck, hold up. Back to the middle or something. For old and default story, a young man from a noble family rose to become a Grey Warden, then ended the fifth flight by killing the Archdemon himself and surviving. He always strove for the greater good and placed his friend Alistair on the throne of Ferelden. Ferelden forever, will forever remember the young Dalish elf who died to fight the fifth Archdemon. Okay. No compromise. Import from Origins. Oh yeah, just import from the city. Yes, because this would have been a combination of everything, right? guys let's start game i'm starting on normal we're going to see how it goes i did that on um origins as well the we started blight. on normal but then i had to change it to easy because it was just too damn difficult dark spawn so we'll out of the wilds clashing against the army at the ruins of ostagar i accidentally skipped that yeah a cut scene with uh, was a disaster uh, Varric and cassandra there King uh, that was died on the field with his men betrayed by his most trusted that, yeah. general <laughs> So we're telling the story of the first game. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. Yeah, Lothering got slaughtered. The village burned. I remember and that. many innocents were slaughtered. Well, I didn't, I didn't see it happen. The champion's family people. barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. I know how much Lothering meant. We have actual voice in this game, we so we do have a voice. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Right, I'm actually Why are you looking at us? Mouse keyboard. Been as running soon, since as soon as I saw that it wasn't gonna like magnetize to this and like kind of actually let me choose, I had to like use it as like a curse a cursor anyway. A point. Listen, you two. The dark spawn could be on us any minute. Please listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on. Hello. 
何あ、そのブラザー So this is Bethany, this is Carver, this is Dog, and this is Hawk. Alright, so uh, we... Character. This is our characters. Oh! Wait, we're rivaled with our fucking... We're friends with our sister. What was wrong with me and my brother? Um, attributes. Fortitude. Dexterity. Magic. Cunning will park constitution. Damage. Okay. Abilities. Ooh, different type of ability tree though. Tactics. Resistances. I don't have any of that. Uh, map. Okay, so obviously I can't see. How about we can. We're on, we're outside Lotharin. Okay, so this is taking place during Lotharin's kind of sacking from the Dark Spawn, and I guess we were a family in Lotharin, and now we're escaping, and our father, assuming, is dead. Inventory. New equipment, weapon, accessories for each of your party members. Move items to the junk category to sell them quickly in stores. That is nice. Ferelden Greatsword. Is that what I'm using right now? No, I'm using a Ferelden Longsword. 5 damage per, per second, 4 physical damage, 8 per second. This is a weapon and shield. I don't like heavy weapons. I'm not a big fan of heavy weapons. I'm sorry, guys. This is not my type of thing. The slower I am, the more like I'm like, yeah, it's not for me. All right. Um, journal. Oh, I just hold the primo. The primo. Uh, can I mark as red? Thank you. Sorry, I'm just going through all my options. I'm gonna make a save as well. Save it as the main. You know, I always make my saves like this. Take all with R. Okay. On your guard! Character level up, you receive points to spend on both. Uh, okay, it's all gone. Um, I got three points. I got three in strength, I got two here. Everything else seems to be like base ish. Then I got something here as well. So, do I have this? Okay, so this is a weapon and shield. This is Vanguard. This is Battle Master. This is Defender, this is a Warmonger. This is two-handed. Alright. Now what does that stuff mean? Oh, 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 I can click on it. Okay. So, I have the base here. We can get Shield Bash. We click here. Failguard believes that blink, blink, blink requires level 3. Okay, so I can't really... That, that. Alright. That's how I run the game. Is Shield Bash? Yes, it is. I'm just gonna just keep updating. This is all the DLC stuff. I'm gonna just keep going Wait. through until all of them have gone through. Where are we going? <laughs> Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. Wherever we go, what's important is that we don't separate. We can go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? Are you sure that's wise? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that, but we still have family there, and an estate. Oh. Uh, 
Then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Worming, Wesley. You'll Wesley. make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The Spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order Here's dictates. All up. <laughs> Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The Order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but... I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Uh, Bad luck and judgment brought us together. So this would have been very the early on during Ferelden. The nice Templar has been the convinced first journey, to postpone the, the his hunt for illegal this mages. Would have been very early so let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostigar, this is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. How bad is that wound? I think my sword arms are lost, even with healing. Then you will have mine, as always. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The Wilds are to the south. That's no way out. We have no choice. The Darkspawn have us fenced in. We go south. This far so quickly. They're trying to kill us! Oh. Let's finish this! Go through me before anyone else. Oh. Let's <laughs> go. 
is he using? What is he using? Using a two handed weapon. real quick self heal any health oh, yeah. uh, but I want this ally health less than 50% oh hey. Before they regroup, we must press towards the wilds. Not going to happen. Bukari Wilds, maybe we'll run into Plymouth. Yes, need a rogue. Oh, everyone has a rogue though. Oh. Magic will never be a thing. I'll probably level up. Okay. I forgot I could confirm. Alright, now I can start spreading out. Have this. This is the pummel strike.
mine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. Aww. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. Oh man. Why did these Dragon Age games always end with such I will misery? I never forget you, Carver. At least, at least this one started off in, like, turmoil, you know? We started off escaping, so you trying to run for our lives. The first one started off all happy and all shit. At least Father will have company now. Flames. We're too late. They're too powerful! Retreat! They're too powerful! Retreat! I will not die today! Ah! Retreat! To them. Someone's gonna save us. Oh, a dragon. Oh, I'm just realizing this was a story that Barry was telling about what actually happened. Is it? I don't think so. Looks different, but then again, could be. It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, Count yourself lucky. The smell of burning Darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated, and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? We won't be able to get through the Darkspawn on our own. They are everywhere, or soon will be. Where is it you plan to run to, hmm? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? But that is quite the voyage you plan. He marches. Your king will not miss you, hmm? Lothering is gone, and Ferelden may soon follow. We have to go. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. 
Anything you could do for us would be appreciated. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? Yeah, so it's Flemeth. I offer you this. She just looked a little bit different. I will get I your group past the Horde. She looks dope. In exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? What is a Witch of the Wilds, exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. You're an apostate? Yes. Just like you. Now you're a little bit different You would go there, through <laughs> all that trouble to have something delivered. I have... an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be, exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. That's a lot to ask without telling us what this involves. It's nothing more dangerous than one so capable can handle. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Mm -hmm. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Okay. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. Then how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last mm. are now beyond your reach. She just. They're the told uh, the hero of Relvin <laughs> to go forth this with Alistair. You can't ask me this. This would have been so pretty damn close of us waking Please. up at her hut and then the corruption is a slow with death. um I can't Morgan and then from Lothering getting Stan and Liliana and leaving uh, Lothering or I guess it would be the camp and then from the camp to the Red Cliff Castle right or town or village or whatever. So it would have been like around that time. He's your husband, Eveline. I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love. an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? 
Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? <laughs> no. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. So this entire story... The witch kept her word and got them to Guarum, the where they us. took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea last right, by yeah, terrible okay, so that's storm. Right. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. to the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Vereldans, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. So long as we're all safe, that's more important. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your Why letter. Like our family went through some the guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days, they kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Mm. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. 
Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted, but he's sure never taken that chance. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yule. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Was Wesley based out of the Lothar Enchantry? I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. There must be someone else in charge we can talk to. The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. Our uncle is Gamlin Amal. He knows we're coming. Surely someone could find him. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. Oh. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Be careful! Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. Thank you. It's been three days. Oh, this damn. waiting has to end. Three days? I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Wait. I think someone's coming. Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! 
Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband. Dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it, and Drastic guide him. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip-deep in Ferelden since the Blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. No, we're not putting Mother through that. We'll find a way. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt for a year. Damn. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Mirren heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A oh, Fenril. Huh? I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. Uh, All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for. As long as it means we don't have to go back. What kind of man is this, Mirren? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Let's find them, and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I... have no real option. Thank you. Alright, okay, sorry, I just gotta send a message real quick. Just give me one second, sorry guys. help or get recruited to the mercenaries or the smugglers. A 
are you a Fenro? He must be Gamlin's nephew. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pods. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. We can't afford to be choosy. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. It appears our uncle likes to talk. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Mm. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. I'll find some other way into the city. Suit yourself. I'll be around for a bit, if you change your mind. Yeah, I just want to talk to the other side real quick. I don't know which one would be a better option or not, but... Also, um... Did I not tell you to keep the rabble out of here? There's only so much I can do, myself. Miran. Huh. So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. I never pictured myself as the mercenary type. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said your sister's a mage. We're willing to pay for that. Does everyone know about us? Your sister's not in the circle yet. Then probably not. You stick with us. You'll be safe. For a year, at least. My uncle doesn't seem the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallop match. You turn out, we'll call it even. Uh, okay, so mercenary or smugglers? More of a mercenary type than a smuggler type, so let's go with mercenaries. I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Oh, I just went through him. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asked why. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not making a move. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait, who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. I want to hear what you have to say before I decide anything. Miran, send them. I'm not an idiot. I could have figured that out for myself. Look, you. I don't know what that pissant thug is paying you. But I'll double it. Just let us go. I might change my mind if I knew how you wronged the Red Iron. Ugh, those fools take everything so personally. So I told Lord Asheral they were coming. It was business. I was perfectly willing to give the Red Iron a share, or all of it. I could give it to you as well. Just let me go. 
Make it worth my time, and I'll let you go. Mm. Oh, thank the Maker. Wasn't that coin supposed to be paying us to keep your hide safe? If you want to fight them, be my guest. Well done. I hope whatever he offered you was enough to get you in on your own. At least I want to be your service, right? Oh wow, that doesn't even let me in. So to go talk. So I don't have a choice but to go talk to the smugglers now. Okay. <laughs> Change your mind? Or no? Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard. But you can. Get our money from him and you're in. I've already told you, I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Ferelden's poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. Uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> she didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? I'm sure they'd rather not sell what little they have left. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you, and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. All set. Nice. Here you go, as requested. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Achievement unlocked. Yes. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here.
Then we made it. The voyage is over. The blight may still spread, but for now, we have a new home. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. All right, a year working as mothers. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. Ah. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he remained, paying off his debt, made a name for himself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Nice. Okay, so the Kanari ship la la got deserted, I guess? In this area, after a storm, so all the Kyber Kanari or something like that. And also some trouble with the mages. And of course, meeting Eric. No! Andraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! Deep roads. You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. We've fought and killed Darkspawn. How many of your hired men can say the same? Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. We've made a name for ourselves this last year. We'll find something. We have to. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. He always seems to know what's going on. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Hey! Oh, this fucker. <laughs> I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high town, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. Yeah, baby. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. Uh... He would never admit it either. <laughs> He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. 
she is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. It sounds interesting, but if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after Applied when the Deep Roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. Ah. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except Darkspawn and rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. Good old Bianca. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin, and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. <laughs> Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. Sandal! Um. <laughs> Bautan, Fedic, purveyor of goods, both guns. common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? You aren't worried about venturing into such a dangerous place? Not with such fine protection. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The favored dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. Scratching his ass. 
I like enchantment. <laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rose. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. Nice. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine man. Some work in that, uh, After all his off. accomplishments, may he find even greater success. In the storage room, I remember uh, a lot of dead. Uh, but surely my past uh, is hardly spot. of interest to the likes of you. Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Sword, great sword, battle axe. Map. This is the Merchant Guild, Red Lantern District, Discount's Way, High Town Square, Orval's Blades, Olaf's Armory, Hubert Fine Goods, Worthy, Sebastian, Rose by Jean Locke, High Town Estates. Oh, is this like you the Red Light like District? I just and here. I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. Excuse me, Miss Aaron. So, my sister and so Bethany and Carver, they were twins. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Tavern 
Taffy? Taffy, here go. Prince Sebastian Vale. And Andraste did say, those who harm a house of the Maker have done harm unto the Maker himself. Ugh. <clears throat> Give me a second, there's like another question. Monsieur, surely an adventurer has need of a good tailor. I spent way too much time here. Oh, I wanted to talk to people, I gotta click on their boxes just fucking realize. I don't know why. I did that with fucking sandal. I don't know why. Just took me this long to realize. Huh? Actually, let's go to my inventory. So, the weapons that I have here. They're great swords. Did I sell them? Leave the two-handed weapons because I might get someone in the future that needs a two-handed weapon, but just make me a few points of this. Time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You aren't still working for Athenal, are you? Your year must be up by now. I'm looking to become an explorer, of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. You'll unlock the crafting station in which you can order items given the rest of your resources. It's 37 bucks. Resource varieties discovered. Illyrium, oh, Silverite, Oraclium, Oraclum. Dragon's blood. I need one lyrium for that. So where's the discounts? Oh, discounts away is this? Oh wait, I just realized. <laughs> I should take a 
trip to the country. Of course they're going to... You can't miss the keep. It practically screams nothing fun ever happens here. Alright, this counts away. We'll talk to our friend. How much longer do I have to wait? Evelyn. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. Uh. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. A person in your position seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact... I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. I will Otherwise, not. I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Caelan. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure. But I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. So they part Sometimes I wonder. Right All right, Aveline. I'm piecing it you have story. something worth doing. <laughs> they may have My patrols may be in empty game, walks like in the I've dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use so you. My brain works An ambush, probably for a caravan. Although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You have a name, or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing a- I have contacts. Anne, you want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing, and when people are right. Seems like you'd want to sh- I will. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. I'm no- There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expect- You still claim to be competent, right? Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough. But we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. All right. Did you join us the party? Yep. The guard will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. What did I do? Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. The Viscount must be terribly busy. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. How much longer do I have to I don't know why, but I by force a habit. I use I my left my camera and left my so mouse well. to change the camera direction. I don't know why. You're looking well, Sarah. I don't think I can do that. I don't have the capabilities, good sir. 
kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like that? Oh. World map. To change the map, select Clerkwell, Knight, or the Free Marshes. Mount, center mount, ambush site, the wounded coast. Fuck it, hell, what is going on? So, where am I? Did I just leave? Okay. High town. That's, that, that, that's where I am, right? That's high town. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna call it here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wits right here. Um, let's put these points somewhere first, though. Let's give you some more strength. Um, um, what was I saying? I'm gonna call it quits right here an hour and a half that's what i want for the first part we have made it to kirkwood uh Kirk, kirkwall kirkwood i already forgot the name um but oh can we not go like world map no okay so these arrows right here are world map these uh areas are like going to different areas within the area that you're already in that didn't make any sense that doesn't matter we'll be back soon uh so first hour and a half we made it out of lothering through here we got into the city, our little brother died sadly, Wesley died as well, and it's just me, my sister, mom, and Aveline that we picked up along the way, kind of became kind of like a family to us, I guess, and uh, we just met Varric as well, Varric's one of the goats. I remember him from Inquisition very well, I did not realize he was introduced in the second game though, but still, he's a great character, I think he's probably one of the more like, uh, operated characters in Dragon Age, uh, but yeah. Uh, that is it for now. Hope you guys are enjoying. I'll see you guys next time. So.